Uh, yeah, Bresson. Bresson, thank you. Um, I, it's, it's very good to see uh, some very committed people in youth ministries, and one of them is our good friend. Bresson, God bless you. Yes, yes, there you are. I see, I see your smile. God bless you. Thank you so much. I, I really admire your commitment uh, in, in, in youth ministry. So my friends, uh, again, today we'll have um, a bit to share and then we'll open the door for some uh, discussions as we are led by our, our, our MC, uh, Sister Grace. Thank you so much, Grace. Uh, and uh, uh, Kruger, Dennis, God bless you for coordinating us well. And uh, I believe uh, all will go well. I also join Mama Waiswa to appreciate our colleagues, all the field directors who are here, and uh, our leader, uh, and, uh, Christian Francis. Uh, uh, C2 from uh, North Buganda Field. I was there, uh, I mean, uh, two days ago. Wonderful, wonderful uh, field. Um, it's a good place to visit. So, Elder uh, Christian, it's good to see you. Me too, Pastor. Thank now, you so much. God bless you for the service. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Amen. Now, my friends, uh, allow me to begin by reminding uh, each other, uh, reminding each other um, um, of some things that uh, are basic. Uh, youth Ministries Department is a very broad department, is one of very rich departments and uh, it has a big number of personnel. It has uh, 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 a lot of subsections. And I want us to do a program together. And I want all of you to help me uh, as we do this program. I want to invite us to uh, do a, 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 a checklist. Uh, 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 I want to invite you to do a, a test, a little test. Schools are closed, so I think we need to do tests at church, otherwise we will forget. So uh, we, there's a little test, and in this test, I want to invite uh, each one of you to either take a little piece of paper, and a pen, uh, or you can use your machine. So, Busagwa Simon, Busagwa Simon, you can mute. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so, I, I want to uh, request you to take a piece of paper. <laughs> Thank you. Um, either use a pen or you can write on your, your, your gadget if it's a phone. But the best one would be putting on the chat. And on the chat, I will request you to only put one of um, the two uh, words, one is yes, another one is no, very simple. So if, if to the question that I will ask, the answer is yes, you put yes. If the answer is no, then put no. We, we are just doing it uh, on the chat. Now, so that we don't um, uh, get confused, I want us to test. 
can we test? Uh, you you just write the word. Um, well, there's something good about this. I want you to participate, but I don't want to say what is good about it first. But I want to encourage you to participate. Uh, if you can, I want to see how, how much uh, participation I'm going to have. If you can just chat and write the name Jesus and share that to all. Can we try to do that? Just write Jesus and share to all of us. I see we have, there's one Jesus which has come. Another one. Yes, I see four, five. Yes, yes. So we have nine, 11 people already. Okay. We are more than 11. So I'm waiting for more. Uh, 13, I see 14, 17. Yes, thank you. 18, I see. Uh, 19, thank you. Keep writing, keep writing. Just chat, chat on the chat box. Only 19 people, only 20 people now have written. 21, I see you. Yes, we have 40, we have 40 people. You just write on the chat the word Jesus. So that I want to know the level of participation on the checklist we are going to do together. 24, okay, a little faster, a little faster. We are, according to my number here, I see we are, how many people we are, we are, oh, we are actually 50 now. So 23 more, where are you? Just write the name Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, 30, 20 more to go. 31, thank you. I'm waiting for 19, 19, 19 people to do. Okay, 32. Okay, yes, there you are. Thank you, 33, I see. Uh-huh. Wake up someone who is sleeping to also put a chat. I know some of you are more than one in the in the machine, but don't don't type again. If you already typed, don't repeat typing <laughs> because it will spoil our our quorum. Those will be spoiled votes. So I see it's like we have stopped at 33. Um, I, I don't see any more coming. And so we expect 33 people to participate in this. Oh, 34, 34, 34, 35. Um, so the, I, I want us to, to do it in a way that uh, we have this, the same number uh, so that nobody will be added as we continue so that we get uh, a good and a reliable results. Okay, 37, I see 37 is how many more to go? We, the, oh, the participants are also adding. So we also have 36, 56 participants. Participants. Okay, let's begin. At least we have 37 who are participating. Now, uh, I, I want to ask some questions. And to these questions, you will answer yes or no. And I see we are now at um, 39. You will answer yes or no. But be, be, before, before I start asking those questions, I want to remind you a very important, uh, some very important points. And I want to, let me do this. Let me, let me share this first. Let me share with this first. So this is our, the page. My friends, the first place to begin in any ministry is at the church manual. At the church manual, church manual is what is uniting all ministries and uh, we move on together. Now, this is what the church manual says about Adventist youth ministries. And uh, the, the various youth organizations of the church should work closely with the youth ministries department of the conference. Now, the second paragraph is telling us why do we have youth ministries, Adventist youth ministries. The church works for and with for 
and with its youth through the AYM, Adventist Youth Ministries. Under the AYM, youth are to work together in cooperation with the wider church community. Youth are to work together but in cooperation with the wider church community, you shouldn't work alone. Towards the development of strong youth ministries, ministry that includes those very important three things, spiritual, mental, and physical development of each individual. But now there are others beyond those key three, Christian social interaction. Youth ministry is there to make sure young people are interacting socially. Young people are not lonely. Loneliness is not godliness. And another very important component is active witnessing program that supports the general soul winning plans of the church. So that is very, very important statement that I have highlighted there. But it's summarized by the goal, and this goal is revised a bit in the next church manual, you will have different wording of it. But the goal as it stands now is to do two very important things. One, to involve all the youth in activities that will lead them to active church membership. And two, to train, to involve and to train them for Christian service. It's not enough to involve our young people to preach, to sing, to witness, to do different things, and then you don't train them. So we encourage our young people not only to be uh, very concerned with going to minister, that's not enough. They should also be humble enough and be ready to learn. So as leaders, we need to balance the two. Uh, leading them to minister, but also leading, uh, encouraging them to learn. Now, before I uh, talk about the mission, I want to remind you of uh, this another paragraph in the church manual page. It, that was 104, but this one is 105. And I'm, I'm reading the paragraph here that begins with the word while uh, there's a paragraph here that bring with the word with the word while while um oh sorry while there is to be an active uh adventist youth ministries in every church it is important that the youth program not be isolated from the rest of the church. In addition to their AYM participation, youth should be, this time is not involved now, youth should be integrated into responsible leadership in all lines of church work as young elders, deacons, deaconesses, for example, they, they, they can work with and learn from experienced officers. So uh, why do we have youth ministries? Is to train our young people involved, but now we have here our young people integrated. I like giving this illustration that the mother may cook food and she may involve the daughters 
to go and put plates on the table to wash the hands of the um, visitors or those who are going to eat and to clean the table after eating, that's involvement. But integrating, it's more than those after thought activities. No, the integrating is now bringing them to, to the planning table, bringing them to decide which menu we are going to have, uh, bringing them to budget, taking them to do shopping, to buy things. They are now integrated, they are part and parcel of the exercise. It is not only um, a little opening prayer there, a little closing prayer there. It's not only reading the first uh, verse, it's not only announcing the opening song and closing songs, and all those are important, but the manual says they should also be entrusted with responsible uh, tasks of being church elders, of being deacons, of being deaconesses, they should be integrated. Um, while we do all those things, we need to remember our mission and our mission is to lead young people into a saving relationship with Jesus Christ and help them embrace his call to discipleship. That mission in simple, it says our burden is to see young people saved saved and saved from sin. We will not be comfortable until our young people have stopped feeling. So all that we are doing in youth ministries is to bring our young people into friendship with Jesus, not in, in ourselves. Yes, the friendship with ourselves is important, but it's just the beginning. It's not the end of the journey. The end of the journey is to teach them to pray, to talk to their God, to, to read his word, to, to, to hate sin, to stop sinning. That is the reason why the youth ministries is existing. So having done that, now I want us to answer these questions and I see my candidates are 39 and that number is still there 39 so um, we are doing some checklists and this will be our way of doing our presentation tonight so when you get um, the answer to the question I'm going to ask please put put on the chat uh, you 39 people and uh, uh, those who have just come, if you want to be part of this uh, exercise, just write the name Jesus on the chat and share to all of us. You just write the name Jesus and then you share to all of us. And this is how we are going to do the answering of the questions and I don't see any new coming, but at least those which came, oh, now we are 40. I see uh, there one, one more, yeah, another one has been added. Okay, so thank you for those who have added. We are at 42. So now we expect that number to be always there at 43, I see. To every question, to every question, 44, I see. To every question, um, Right on the chat, only one answer, yes or no. And if you have your paper, you can write uh, two columns, one yes and one no, so that you'll be counting how many yeses and how many no's you have written. I see we are at 47 now. So those are those who have written Jesus, I see Bisasso. Isaac is like uh, the last one who wrote the, 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 the word Jesus. So 
Uh, just write yes or no. I see uh, another one has been added, and that's uh, yes, you. Yeah, to Kenga desire and Subuga Sperius Sentongo Reagan. Hey, I know Sentongo Reagan. I know, I know. I remember you, Sentongo Reagan. I see you and uh, welcome for Bible study. Also has has added our number and no. Now I see we are at fifty two. So let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. So you'll only write yes or no on the chat and you can count so that at the end of the day, you'll tell me how many yeses you got and how many no's you got. And I have to remind you, this is the reflection of what is happening in the local church. I see uh, Kieyune, we've seen you and the lost Muteso, we've seen you. So, um. The, the questions you're going to answer is in relation uh, uh, with the local church. So the, the question we are asking, look at your local church. So you are answering in as, as, as your answers should be related to what is happening in your local church, in your local church, in your local church. Thank you. So, um, oh, who, Kisule, you have written yes before before the business is started. And I see Bible study is raising his hand. So you just write, you just write, and uh, I will read once. So make sure you listen careful and uh, we will be counting how many answers are coming. Now, um, why do we have this checklist? Why do we have this checklist? Because the Bible has these words to say examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Or do you not realize this about yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to meet the tests. So the word of God is encouraging us to test ourselves, to test ourselves. So we are going to test ourselves and help us to only write yes or no. Kisakie, uh, I've seen Jesus there. Okay, so I see our number has gone up to um, 57. So um, I hope we are ready to begin. I hope we are ready to fly. I hope we are ready to go. So be quick, just write yes or no to the questions that are coming. So here we go. The first question you will answer yes if you have the following leaders. So to every leader, you will answer yes or no. Do you have adventure director in your church? I'm waiting for your yes or no. Okay, yes or no? Thank you, Emily, I see. Musa Waiso, I see, yes. Thank you, Henrik Ajumba, yes. Uh, Deborah, yes, I see, I see, I see your yeses and your nose, thank you so much. I see your yeses and nose. We are going to the second one. We are going to the second, we are going to the second, we are going to the second, I see 97 are there. Number two, do you have Pathfinder Director in your local church? Yes or no? Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, no, yes, no. And keep the record aside because you tell me how many yeses you got and how many no's you got. I'm going to the third one. Yes or no? I'm going to the third one. I see Pisa, uh, Ayeranga, Christian, uh, Kisutu, our elder, Kayondo, Kisakie, Technos. Thank you. I'm going to number three. Do you have ambassador leader in your local church? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no, ambassador leader, ambassador leader. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see from Messi, yes. Oh, some are sharing the machine. So I don't know what you are going to do. How are you going to do? So thank you so much. Uh, Lost Mateso said no. Are you, do you have young adults leader in your church? In your church, local church, yes or no? I see Muboki as yes, I see. 
Um, yes, I see, I see Hilda, I see Musa Waiswa, I see Branson. I see you, okay, thank you so much. Next, I see Janet uh, Kiazike, thank you, Kruger, Dennis, I've seen. You have responded. I'm going to the next, last. Do you have public campus ministries leader or coordinator in your local church? Do you have this leader in your local church? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? I see some yes, I see some no's. PCM, yeah. In another word is PCM. Thank you for reminding us. PCM. I see Grace Divina, uh, yes, there, St. Oregon, I see. PCM, do you have that one? I'm going to another question. I'm going to another question out of this. Thank you, Aguero. I thank you, Beira, Juliet, senior answer. Okay, now, next question. And keep the record of how many yeses and how many noes. Do you have the following committees? If you don't know about it, write no, because there's no middle answer. So you only write yes if you're sure. I know about it. If you are not sure, write no, write no. The following committees. One, do you have adventure committee in your church? If you know it is there, write yes. If you don't know, write no. If you know it's not there, write no. Um, adventure committee, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. I see there. Um, Subuga, I see you. Bisaso, Hilda again, Linda, Namatovu, thank you so much. Okay, we are going to the next. Do you have Pathfinder Committee in your church? Are you have, have you ever heard about Pathfinder Committee in your church? Yes or no? Yes or no? If you are not sure about it, it is no. You only write yes if you're sure about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to the next. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Grace. Again, thank you, Larry. Thank you, uh, Babirie. Thank you. Do you have ambassador committee in your church, in your local church? S-Y-L, Jeremiah, thank you. Do you have peace? I see your answer there, Master Guide. Uh, I see you, SDA Quempe. Do you have ambassador committee, yes or no? And I'm going to the next. I am going to the next. If it's yes, yes, if no, no. Thank you so much. Uh, young adults committee. Do you have young adults committee in your church? If you know it is there, write yes. If it is no, write no. If you do not know, you are not sure, also write no, young adults. Uh, welcome to Bible study. I see Tumusime, I see Mbatude. Thank you, Kataika Ayerage, thank you. And I'm going to the next question. Public Campus Ministries Committee, do you have it in your church? Okay, I'm waiting from Messi. Thank you, Messi. No. Uh, PCM committees. So far, no, 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 no. I'm waiting for any yes in case it is there. So far, they are all no's. PCM, yes, Janet Kiazike. There is one yes there for PCM. And uh, yeah, thank you, Kisule. Okay, next question is Do you have umbrella AYM committee that brings all other segments together? Yes or no? Henry, yes. I see Galax, no, uh, K, Christian, no, Techno, I see Evangelist Babilie, uh, uh, Isaac Mpanga, Muhindo, thank you. Is it yes or no? Keep writing, keep writing. And I see the number of respondents is kind of reducing. I hope others are not having, I hope it's not too fast uh, to write yes or no. Keep writing. Thank you, Hilda, but today, thank you, Patrick. Uh, AY Umbrella Committee, we are going to another question. Uh, we are going to another question. Thank you, Janet. Bira, Juliet, Jonas Mutabazi, thank you. Emily, I see you are yes there. Thank you, Emily. Jonas, thank you. Now we are going to another question. 
get ready for another question. And the answer is yes or no, and keep record of how many yeses and how many noes do you have? Are the following leaders members of your local church board? Now, wait now. I'm going to mention, if I mention the name, and you know that leader is the member of church board, you write yes. If you're not sure right now, no, no, no. If, if you know it, he or she is in your local church board, adventurer director, is he or she a church board member? Yes or no? I'm waiting. Oh, I see yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I see no, I see no. Betty, thank you. Thank you so much. I see yes, yes, Messi, no. Isaac, no. Thank you. Okay. I am going to the next leader. Keep writing if you have not. Bless on. Thank you. Uh, I see your yes there. In your local church, in your local church. What about Pathfinder Director? Is he or she a member of church board? Yes or no? Pathfinder Director, yes or no? Yes or no? I see yeses, yeses. I see nones, Buga, thank you. I see lost, uh, Muteso, no. And I see Bira, yes, thank you. And I'm going to the next. Keep writing, keep writing. Don't be overtaken by my question. The good thing is on the screen. What about Ambassador Leader? Is he or she a member of church board? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Ambassador in your local church, if you're not sure, just write no if you're not sure. So yes or no? Yes or no? Thank you. Thank you so much, Larry. I see Messi again. I see. Um, thank you. What about young adults leader? Keep writing. Don't be confused by the, the questions because we are counting and you're also counting young adults leader. Is he or she a member of local church board? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. I, my, the numbers of respondents are decreasing here. I hope nobody has challenged. Yes, Ulvan, I, I get, I get, I get Ulvan your yes. What about PCM? Do you know if PCM is a member of your church board? If it's yes, yes. If you don't know, then it is no. If you know, then is he, if he is, yes. If you know and he's not, no. And we'll move to another question. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, uh, Kazibwe. Thank you, Bisasso, Master Guide, Amanire, my friend, Amanire. Thank you. Okay, Ayaraga, Godfrey, thank you so much. We are going to another question. Do you start a year with an induction service? Yes or no? Your local church. Does your local church start the year with induction service? And if you even don't know the meaning of induction, say no. If it is yes, say yes. Thank you. Thank you. I see Evelyn. I see there SBA Kawempe. Don't see me. I'm going to the next. Uh, do you have weekly club meetings for, do you have weekly club meetings? Yes or no? Uh, even if not every week in the year, then at least 26, that's 50% of the year. Yes or no? Weekly meeting, club meetings, weekly club meetings. Oh, uh, weekly club meetings. Thank you so much. Okay. Please mute. Please mute. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have an investor service at the end of the year? Have you seen investor service in your church? Yes or no? In your local church, do you be do you finish the year with an investor service? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, before COVID. Yes, yes, yes. That's okay. That's okay. Before COVID, that's okay. It doesn't have to be this year, but is it a culture of your church to have investor service at the end of the year? Thank you so much. Keep answering even when we go to the next question. Keep answering. Do you report timely and accurately? to the church board, business meeting, and the field or conference. Do you rec 
do you report? Do you know if the report from your local church is given uh, to the church board, to the business meeting, and you do timely, you do accurately? Do you do that when they say how many adventurers, if they are 10, do you write five or do you write 20? Is, is the reporting a culture of your church? If you are in the club of Pathfinder, is the Pathfinder report regular, timely? Is it accurate? Yes or no? If you do not know, just write no. If you know, yes. And if you are a leader and you know you somehow you have not been reporting. Okay, we are going, I guess, to the last section. And no, almost to the last. There is another one here. Now, this one, pay attention. Pay attention again. I need your yes or no on this. These are special celebrations in the year. Special celebrations in the year. Now, Global Youth Day. Do you celebrate Global Youth Day? Uh, is it the culture of your church? Global Youth Day, GYD, is normally every third Sabbath of the month of March. Is it yes or no? GYD, I see impressive yeses, and I'm waiting for a no because we cannot be perfect. We are human beings. Just give us the true picture of what is happening so far. Yes, is Ayeranga, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Welcome for Bible study, Kazibwe Cyrus. Thank you. Woo, this one is almost 100%. What about Youth Week of Prayer? The fourth week of March, do you do Youth Week of Prayer? Or oh, is after Global Youth Day, you disappear? Is your church? conducting Youth Week of Prayer. Is that the culture? Thank you, Muhindo. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much, uh, Mama Waiswa, Emily Kazibwe. Thank you. Do you do Youth Week of Prayer? That's the fourth month. From Mercy, twice so far, we do Youth of Prayer. Thank you, Jonas Mutabazi. Next, do you do Homecoming Sabbath? And this is the fourth Sabbath of March. Do you celebrate homecoming Sabbath or you only finish the week of prayer? I see yeses, I see noes. Thank you so much. Uh, do you celebrate homecoming Sabbath or you only finish the week of prayer? Thank you, Ulvan. Thank you, Bahat Wilfred. Thank you, Galax. Thank you so much, Hilda. Thank you. Um, keep, keep, keep responding because we are counting those responses. Do you say World Adventurer Day? For the first time, it was this year in May 15. Did you celebrate? Yes or no? And this is the third Sabbath of May. And you can see the dates there for next year. You can see the dates there for even 2023. May, May, May is the adventurer day date. So did you celebrate? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? And uh, thank you. I'm going to the next block. Do you celebrate Youth Commitment Day? This is first Sabbath of September. This year it will be September 4 for the senior youth now. Youth Commitment Day, uh, if you do that, yes. If you are not, you are hearing it for the first time, you can write no. You're not sure, you can write no. Youth Spiritual Commitment Day, first Sabbath of September. I see, yes, say, Senyonjo, thank you. Daniel Kisule, thank you. Youth Commitment Day is normally the first Sabbath of September of every year. You have it, and this year it will be September 4th. What about World Pathfinder Day, the third Sabbath of September? Is it yes or no? Pathfinder Day, do you celebrate Pathfinder Day in your local church, in your local church, Pathfinder Day? Okay, yes, is, yes, is, with some smiles, with some excitement, Pathfinder Day, thank you, from Mercy sometimes, yes. Janet, thank you, Pathfinder Day, this is the 
third Sabbath of September, it is dedicated for Pathfinders. Do you celebrate World Pathfinder Day? Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Bira, Juliet. What about Global PCM Day or Global PCM Weekend? It is the third Sabbath or the third weekend of October. Is it yes or no? PCM is celebrated in the local. Thank you, Maate Amos Sabiti. Would you please put on a chat? Put on a chat. Put on a chat uh, uh, if it is yes or no. Thank you. Uh, thank you at district level. Uh, oh, that's okay. But we want at the local church. PCM at the local church. It's supposed to start at the local church. Is it yes or no? And I'm going to now the last section. Do you attend or participate in the youth seminars and activities organized by the district zone, field and high organization? Is your church having a culture of attending these activities? If it is yes, write yes. If it's no, no. Thank you. Do you attend? Do you participate? In those events, is it yes or no? Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Emily. Uh, thank you, Bira. Is it your culture? If it is yes, yes. If you know it is not your culture, then no. Isaac, thank you, Ulvan. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth. Uh, thank you. And uh, next, do you have creative and youth invented outreach projects that you are carrying out. It is created by the young people of your local church. Young people of your local church is not just something that came from high organization. No, you sat down and created it. And maybe it is not anywhere. It is very unique for your local church. It's not even anywhere. You are the one who created it and you are doing it. And it is the young people who created it, not the elders. No, you sat together and created it. Is it yes or no? Thank you to Musime. Thank you, Okelo. Thank you so much, Dawaiswa. Uh, thank you, Patrick. And um, do you know, this is the last one. Do you know how to get youth materials? such as books, uniform, insignia. Do you know how? The question is how? If you need a uniform, how do you go about getting a uniform? If you need a Pathfinder pin, do you know the procedure of how to get it? If you need a scarf, do you know the procedure? I conversant with the procedure on how to get the materials, books, uniform, insignia, etc. Is it something that you know for sure and you have no doubt on it? Yes or no? Thank you so much. My friends, that was our seminar for today and we can close it by a prayer <laughs> because uh, that one can tell you everything that is given there is what will tell you if the youth ministries in your local church is alive, is in ICU, or is in uh, OPD, or is in the oxygen machine, uh, breathing using the pipes. Now, let me ask. Um, okay, one minute. I want to ask you something. Um, how many of you have gotten 22? Yes, is if you have gotten okay. Now let's do this. Put on the chat 
all the yeses that you got, if it is one, if it is two, if it is 10, uh, let me see now. Branson has already given us how many yeses, how many noes? Branson, thank you. Grace, thank you. How many yeses? Betty, thank you. Uh, Galax, 24 yeses. Senyonjo, 24 yeses. Keep writing. How many yeses? Count, count, count. How many yes? Thank you. As I see, 26 yeses. 25 yeses. Some of you are having more yeses than the questions I asked. Let me see. I hope you are counting well. You, you, you don't know the number of questions. I know them. So if the questions were 10 and you have 30 yeses, then I will wonder where you got those yeses. Okay, so I see 25 yeses. Okay, I see 22, I see 20. Um, I'm still waiting. I see 19. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Um, some are very kind markers. Some are very strict markers. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, um, I see from here, the one who got the highest is SYL Jeremiah. Jeremiah has 26 yeses. Jeremiah, where are you? Can you put on your video and uh, and wave and wave, Jeremiah? S Y L Jeremiah Jeremiah. Uh, if you can, if you can't put on the video, then put on the audio. Uh, yes, you have chatted, Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah. From which church? Which church are you coming from, Jeremiah? And text. Yeah, I see you there now. Jeremiah, you're coming from which church? You can chat as well. Njeru SDA. Mama Waiswa, do you know Njeru SDA? Yes, Pastor. Oh, yes, thank Njeru you so SDA is. Yes. It is in Central Uganda Conference with Pastor St. Ongo. Very good, very good, very good. And uh, up to now, I don't see anyone. Some two or three who have gotten 25. Babirie, where is Babirie? Babirie, tell us which church is that, and Mama Waiso, help me take note of that. Take note of um, uh, Njeru and Jeremiah. And what about Babirie? Babirie, where are you, Babirie, and you're from which church? Ginger ADA Town Church. Oh, these are my friends. Henley Kajumbi. Do you know this one? That's how done. And another one is Master Guide Amanire Joshua, also has 25. Master Guide Amanire, which church is that? You can also tell us. And I see you. What church is that? Yegebwa. Yegebwa. Thank you. Thank you. Mama Waiso has taken note of that. And I really want to congratulate. Um, all those who have, I see also SDA Kwempe has 24, 24 point SDA Kwempe and, uh, uh, um, and all those who got from 23, 23 yeses. If you have 23 yeses and above, I want to say congratulations.
questions to you. Um, I see um, 23, who is this 23 here? And there are some, Henry Kajumbi also, you are 23, I see you there. And uh, Senyonjo, Senyonjo also has 24. And um, those who have 23, you have over 75%. And those who have below, those who are below, yes, 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 those who are below 23, I want to congratulate you so much for being very good in statistics. You have written what you know is happening in your local church, and I congratulate you for your cooperation. I really want to encourage you to see all the points that we have mentioned here. And I will share these questions. I will share this uh, PowerPoint. Um, uh, I will see if I'll be able to share it right now, or I give you the link so that you can download it and look at those questions and keep them as your, your litmus paper. Uh, that is testing how live is your program. And these are just basics. <clears throat> there are many other things that you need to know. And I'm glad that uh, this program is being recorded. And because it's being recorded, we will have the record of what we have just said now. Now, after doing that, I want to quickly address two important things. Uh, quickly address two important things. The first thing I want to mention is one year in mission. Um, my friends, the question that asked about which program is innovated by the young people in your local church, that question was directing us to one year in mission. Now, this program was started by our own General Conference President, Dr. Ted Wilson. He challenged the young people to give part of their life to mission, to uh, wonder what the Lord has done for them and do something, give an offering of time in turn to God who has been very good to them. Now, I want to emphasize some few things here. First, one year in mission or yim is the name of the program. I am emphasizing that one because the word one year, important as it is, should not discourage anyone to get into this program. Our challenge is to have young people giving their one literal year of their lives to Jesus Christ. But that does not close those who may have six months, nine months, even three months to give it to the Lord. Now, the way this program started, it was strictly one year, but it has developed and now one year is representing give you a time to Jesus. How do you do that? There are two ways. One way is to pack your bag and go to a place that is not your home and give you a one year for mission, either to plant a church or to be a missionary in one of our institution 
if you are a nurse to one of our hospitals, if you are a doctor to one of our hospitals, if you are a teacher to one of our schools, you are giving your time to Jesus. It's a volunteering service. It's not an employment opportunity. You are volunteering. I am giving my time to the Lord. And so it's a voluntary work. Um, you may decide to do that, to either go to a specific mission field that is so winning and church planting, or to use your skills to work in any of God's uh, section of ministry. That's number one. Number two is home base. Home base in cities where you arrange as a local church, again, as a district, again, as a zone or area, whatever the union and field leadership, conference leadership will advise you to do. You decide and choose a day in a week. My friends, we love the idea of our young people carrying their bags and go, but we know we will not get many who will be able to, to do that. If we'll get 10, we'll praise God. If we'll get 20, we'll praise God. If we get 50, we'll praise God. But we know there are hundreds of thousands of our young people who will not be able to carry their bags and go. And this, we want to recruit them in the home base one year in mission and choose a day and come together and identify the needs of the area and let the world know that that day, the world you are living, you will share the love of God. And here comes the idea of youth creativity. You do your creativity. If you say this the day, we will uh, um, do different kind of service like the way we do in Global Youth Day. We are going to babysit children. We, we are going to maybe um, do a barber shop for free. Uh, we have a haircut for free, maybe for the first 20 people who will come. Or we are going to wash cars for free. And uh, in every car you wash, you leave a book or a pamphlet for mission uh, or any creativity. I'm just scratching your imagination. Look at your local church and uh, come up with something which uh, has not been there. It is not known by any other person and you do it for mission. Um, in the city of Kinshasa is a good example where um, over 200 young people, they are meeting every Sunday to impact their community. And that is their one year program every day. They only get lunch together. They continue with the work. They go back home. Actually, they are doing every Monday. Uh, if it is cleaning the office, if it is repairing the church, you can impact the local churches around. If it's the district, we can all go to one local church and impact. Go to one widow, go to one homeless, go to especially those who have not yet known um, the Lord without forgetting our own members. So <clears throat> this is something which we believe will involve many young people. One year I've been narrating this story. I went to uh, Dongoro. Dongoro is in, 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 the, in the outskirts of um, um, Addis Ababa, maybe not outskirts, in Ethiopia, it's even far. 
um, outskirts of Gimbi. We have a big hospital in Gimbi. And there's an interior school known as Dongolo. Reaching there, I met with a young man, an American young man. What are you doing here? Sir, I have come for mission. I am volunteering for mission. Under Adventist Volunteer Services, which is now united with one year in mission. So he talked to his people that I want to go and impact Africa. And he went to Adventist Volunteer Service. Let me pause there and ask you to write these words. Go and look for this website, Adventist Volunteers Services. Adventist Volunteer Services is one word. There are different mission posts that are looking for you. And you could be the one they are looking for. They have put the details there. And those details, when you read, you may discover it is you they are looking for. They only do not know your name. Adventist Volunteer Service, Adventist Volunteer Service is connected with one year in mission. The American young man was a physics, physics teacher. Physics teacher. And when he went online, he discovered that physics teacher is needed at Dongoro. He wrote and he came to Dongoro. I met him there, young man who lived there for one whole year. Ethiopia, they have their very interesting food called injela. Injela is not matoke, my friend. Injela is not kantunkuma. Injela is not, uh, um, I'm forgetting my good food here now. Not gonja, injera is not gonja. It's, it's, it's a certain kind of food you're eating it when it's cold and it is sour. And they eat it with very hot, very hot soup. Hot, not temperature, hot pepper very hot um when you even smell the tears start coming some of us who are not used to that michael buambale is giving testimony is not easy so you are right i went there i went with the dr mutero we went and injera was served i tested once i sneezed tears came out of me and looking at the American guy is enjoying injera, a missionary. And he told me that's how he suffered, very young man. He's, in, he's uh, not even more than 25 years old. He is a missionary, he went there. He experienced that life. He, he was given a bed with a very humble room where to put his bed and that was the food. And no, no, suddenly they're just giving him some stipend to buy a toothbrush and a, a spirit of mission. My friends, <clears throat> youth ministry's name was MV, Missionary Volunteer. Yes, you are right, uh, Galax. It is very nutritious in general. Our name changed from MV to AY, not because there was anything wrong with MV, no. It's because of the politics of that time, the name missionary was associated with colonialism. And so we avoided that name as a church and we went to youth ministries. But for sure, the work, the spirit of our department is missionary volunteer. If Harry Fenner and Luther Warren will wake up today what will they appreciate from the youth ministries? They did not have scarf like the one I'm wearing. They did not have uniform. They didn't know any parade. They started a movement for mission. I pray that Uganda Union 
will give us missionaries for today. We still talk about Donald Cameroon. We need, we still talk about those missionaries who uh, sacrificed a lot. Uh, David, uh, uh, I wanted to say David Livingstone, not Donald Cameroon. David Livingstone. We still talk about those and it is enough. Why can't we talk of Grace Divine at Eno as our missionary for today? Why, why, we, we, why can't we talk about Ivan Sienyonjo as a missionary for today? Patrick Sekitoleko. We should be talking about you now. We write story about Biira Juliet. We have spoken about Donald uh, David Livingstone. It is enough. It is time to talk about Sanje Eri, Kabuga Frank. We, we talk about the modern missionaries, Ruth Masinde, that books are written about how Ruth Masinde left Uganda and went to the interior of Congo to be a missionary. Nsanda Edward, we, we need modern missionaries. And this is why we have one year in mission, a missionary movement for young people from low scale to high scale. Let's begin law from where we are. Then we grow and get some people to go out, carry their bags and spread this message of hope to people who are hopeless because they don't have Jesus. There are a lot of details on this. Allow me to end up there. We want this to be more practical than theory. And the concept is that don't be blocked by one year. It can be even five years. Don't be blocked by one year. It can even be six months. Students who are finishing your schools, while you are waiting for the results, this is the good time to go and volunteer. Volunteer at Uganda Union. Volunteer at CUC. Volunteer. No pay is not unemployment, is voluntary work. Last, the last one is not hard. We have a very ambitious project and I'm so happy Mama Waiswa you are interested in this. And this is Youth Alive. In the world that we have a big challenge with um, substance abuse, the church has come up with a program known as Youth Alive. This is a collaborative effort between the departments of health ministries. Health ministries department is the one that is leading these efforts of Youth Alive. But because they are dealing with the young people, we come in as youth ministries. And education department comes in of course, chaplains, uh, because of uh, the students um, and uh, under youth ministries, we still have the um, PCM. We all work together to help young people develop resilience, resilience towards temptations that are leading them to uh, substance abuse. Now, it's a very nice program. And this program is done at the request of the union. The union will request, the union will make arrangement and we organize with health ministries department and come and do the program. This year, we were going to West Kenya Union Conference for the Youth Alive program. And when we do that, we invite the near, the near unions. The other year we were at Northern Tanzania Union Conference and they invited 
um, Rwanda, they invited um, all the union directors and the general conference made a plan that all those union directors who were invited, they came and they witnessed how it went. They are the next to take it to their union. And I want just to share here a bit of what the program, just in a nutshell, what the program is all about. And you can take their uh, website as it is shown there. Um, now it is, it's, 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 it's just live. I'm, I've just logged in as it is now. And you can see it is defined very well. Youth Alive is a program designed to build resilience among teens and young adults by equipping them to make healthy choices. Through the Youth Alive programs, teens can better understand their gifts and their purposes. Many today are trapped becoming enslaved by addictions such as alcohol, tobacco, drug, pornography, gaming, media. So Youth Alive focuses on nurturing relationships. Relationships is very key. That build resilience against these at-risk behaviors that plague young people around the world. And the programs are here what the theme is my choice fully alive and our motto is healthy youth connected for service theme my choice fully alive motto healthy youth connected for service and now you can see when we come to a country like uganda we invite a certain number of young people we do conferences or camps service and mission opportunities. We go to the neighborhood, local youth alive clubs are created, friendship clubs are created and very beautiful programs. And it is there to help young people who are suffering and struggling with pressures. Young people, many of our young people there surrounded by a lot of pressures peer pressures and pressures that are pushing them to make wrong choices. So at Youth Alive, we form friendships. Thank you so much, Elder Waiswa. Uh, he has put it on the chat box for you to read more. Um, Youth Alive is very much practical. We have very less presentations. We have more activities. And in those activities, they are counseling sessions, they are moments to open up groups, pastors and members, young people and old people. It's a, it's a good mixture. There's a number, when we call young people, there's a number of elderly people who come and we work together. I really wish the next center for Youth Alive program will be in Uganda Union, Mama Wai. So you have already shown interest. If we will uh, have a moment to do it in Kisumu, please come with your uh, youth directors because one of the conditions they have put at the general conference, they will only go to the unions which their leaders were in attend we attended another one and they saw what it requires, the organization of it is not like the normal programs we have. It has a lot of things and they need someone who has seen it running, come and prepare in their own uh, uh, union. So thank you, Erda Muboki. He has already voted also to support that we need it here in Uganda. God bless you. Um, let me stop there, uh, Mama Waiswa, and allow now discussions and questions. And uh, um, yes, Ivan is saying as soon as possible, as up. So welcome, welcome, and uh, uh, back to you, our boss, uh, Grace, uh, and your friend uh, to coordinate the activities, of course, after the guidance 
of our Queen Mama wa Iswa. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Pastor. We are so, so, so much, so much privileged to have you today. And we have really learned a lot. If you check the chat, people have great comments and they've really liked the Youth Alive program. We are so, so much happy, so, so much excited. And I would like to request actually all of us who are active right now, at least drop a, a comment what you have really learned from this program. Wow, wow. If we have learned something, you can show that you have really learned, people have learned, and they are really appreciating. Thank you, Pastor, for this time. And my dear friends, if we have any question, it's time that we can Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, participants. I'm Eruda Sanja, Eric from Nengo. I'm very grateful to the pastor. And I just want to confirm to him that volunteers and missionaries in Uganda, we are very many. And indeed, we have very, 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 very ready to work for the work of the Jesus. Thank you very much. We are very ready with our leadership of Mama Waiswa. We are very ready, indeed. But I um, very appreciative, indeed. Hello. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any other person before our Mama gets the mic right now? You can raise raise your hand or you can unmute and then yeah, cool. ask or give us comment. They can also they can also write a chat in case there is a point that is not clear and you want it clarified. Uh, I think Grace is okay to write a chat. Um, Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Hello. Yes, this is Masika Tamba, Matuga District. I'm really uh, excited and I thank God that I've attended this meeting. It has really woken me out because I've been really committed with the youth ministry, or rather women ministries this time. But I'm working up to support uh, the youth department in my local church because I have that, uh, that capability I can support because I'm a master guide. And I really thank the pastor and I thank God that he has really arranged this meeting for us. It has been uh, so, so beneficial. Thanks so much, Mama Waiswa, Uganda Union, for organizing such an educative uh, uh, meeting and presentation. All right, all right. Thank you very much for that nice comment and the appreciation. Our oh, dear elder, Elder Mboki Moses, I can see your eyes in your hand. You can take the chance and speak to us. Oh, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. we can hear you, Elder. Right, thank you. I am glad to have Pastor Makalonge today again. One, we have life to be on the ground where the younger people really uh, are faced with many challenges related to drugs. And I'm also glad that field has the rest of 18 younger people who are actively involved in a one year mission. My prayer is uh, maybe if we had time, we would share some of the reports from these people, but the challenge is that we may not have time. We have many people, young people who are willing to and guide them how it. Thank you so much. Wow. 
Wow, thank you very much, Elder, for giving our voice. We would really feel that well if you had not said anything, but we are so grateful. Thank you very much for speaking to us and thank you very much for joining. Those who have their comments in the chat, I think Pastor is reading them. And if there is any question, Pastor, you can still answer any question in case it is there in the chat. At this point in time, if we have no one else, yes, I can see someone has. If you have a question or any other comment, this is the time. And if it is not there, I will kindly request our mama to give her remarks. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Grace, for coordinating. We want to thank Pastor Makalonge for that great presentation. We want to believe our participants here have been enriched. We Pastor began with an interesting, interesting exercise. Thank you so much. It was a great awakening. And um, as a leader, I identified the major areas that we can embark on, but want to thank uh, our leader for waking us all up and at least ensuring that even if we are in lockdown, youth ministry is supposed to be active all throughout. I was touched when many knows were about no committees, no Adventure Committee, Pathfinder Committee, those committees. I believe everybody here just enjoy the exercise. Thank you, Pastor. And you can always uh, get that link. Pastor has posted it here. We can copy that link so that we can be able to check out and then be sure to make our youth ministry programs run. Right. We are also happy of the presentation on the evangelism one year in mission we are waiting for questions from people but since we have some minutes to seven we we want to hear from we'll begin with pastor kojo pastor kojo are you there or any representative for renzori field yes you just thank you share with the people what, what is about one year in mission just in three three minutes okay. then we'll have elder muboki and Pastor Isingoma, so as people bring in their questions, what are your experiences for one year in mission? Because we need many. Thank you, Madam Waishwa. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Pastor Makalonge for the presentations. We are blessed. And indeed, you have encouraged us for, for the mission. As far as mission, as Oyin is concerned, Renzo Field has picked a fire. And we want to thank uh, Uganda Union and uh, Madam Waiswa for launching first this program in Renzori Field with 28 uh, evangelists, as I may call them. They have impacted on the work and they are doing very well. Actually, they have, we have 28 sites and they are doing well. In the first quarter of this of uh, uh, this year, we baptized 35 members, new coverts uh, through OIM. And they also participated uh, in total youth development, supporting the, 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 the youth and the children who were preaching, some through local, local radios, this we call them Mikalakasa and the uh, uh, through radio. Actually, we have uh, we have testimonies to share. If there was time, we would even share some testimonies that we encountered through Mikalakasa, through OIM. But they, but as, as I speak, from uh, from first March, they are doing very well in different places. Thank you very much. We are ready to to, to go with the program, even beyond one year. As, as Pastor has said, 
Yes. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Kwajio, for that. Just a brief and, uh, a glimpse of and, what and, is happening. Uh, where I'm seated here, I have two of them. Who okay, are let him greet us. Kato. We have Brother Kato Please, who is preaching over the... We have Ka Ka Brother Kato who is preaching, who is preaching on Light FM. Actually, we Light FM is one site whereby we have been given free air time. And this is a guy, he can talk to you, the experience. <laughs> Thank you, Madam, for this opportunity and all the listeners who are on this Zoom. Actually, I've been on Radio Evangelism, and it is going on very well. The program is very enjoyable, and people are appreciating. So we thank and you for this late. opportunity that was brought up in Ranzori Field. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you, Pastor, for those testimonies and for our Oyimas who are there. And Pastor Makalonge, we th these ones are full, are full time, just as we shared the reports with you. So Rezori Field has the highest uh, in, in missionaries, and these have been doing a lot. We realize many of our young people are doing a lot of work, a lot of mission but it goes unnoticed. So we are bringing many on board and want to thank God for the commitment of Renzori Field. We have Elder Muboki Moses. Do you have some testimony for Oyim? What is happening? Now, if in your local church, our participants today, if you don't have Oyimas, please, you better come on board because there are even other opportunities. Pastor has told us of the opportunities. We need to visit the Adventist Volunteer Services. It has great opportunities that can help advance you. So the experience you gain when you participate as a local Oyima here, you will be wonderful. You'll be doing it better even when you go now on international level. So our people out there, Pastor, you even check out for that. Many will be qualifying. And when you go internationally, of course, it is very, very interesting and rewarding to do God's mission. So we will be visiting a lot and then working a lot to ensure that many of us come on board. Elder Moboki, if you have some sharing for one year in missions that our participants can know that is work that is going yes 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 can you hear me yes yes we can hear you very well amen i'm i'm glad to inform you that in uh, by the end of april we're glad to recruit uh, 18 younger people for this program one year in mission and uh, the biggest number is uh, covering the Teso sub-region. Now, Teso sub-region is, uh, its size physically is uh, equivalent to one of the fields, the smaller fields in Uganda. But it is uh, an entity which we call team of Eastern include people from levels, graduates, uh, senior followers, different skills, and uh, those who have vocational skills. I'm glad to inform you that one of the guys I'm proud of last year in the desk is doing work. So integrate skills with the amazing facts, which is a partnering with us to train our younger people. Our younger people are preaching on radio of the church and both 
have big evangelism, we have door-to-door -door evangelists, we have nutritional evangelists, and uh, all of these have done some great work in Eastern Uganda. However, I want to share with you in one sentence some of the challenges. One of them uh, is that uh, the long distances, some of the young people commit themselves to more. There are places where they baptize people, but they have nowhere to worship from. They are just hiring places. The baptisms I'm talking about, they are like church plant, churches planted. And we are praying to God that people are our Easter. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And I'm so we thank God for one year in mission in Eastern Uganda. I was touched when we visited the Soroti region. Oh my goodness. Churches are being planted. It is one of our unentered area in Uganda, Teso region in Eastern Uganda. But we thank God for the Oyimas who have join and they are really doing the real work for them to be here and give these reports uh, practical but because of lockdown we said oh my goodness but we will not be limited at least have the words that pastor can know that there's some serious work happening um we've shared these reports we had shared these reports with our leaders at the union and they are very excited about the program and our leaders at the division. Thank you, Pastor, for all the support that is given for one year in mission and even more that is yet to come for us to be encouraged for one year in mission. And remember one year in mission, it is a voluntary work. There is no salary paid, but what you do, the work you do, oh my goodness, it gives you encouragement. So Pastor has talked about the various ways we can do OEM. Uh, we have another active OEM in Western Uganda field. I don't know if Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Isingoma, is Pastor Isingoma on? Or we, we had, we had who, we had, Pastor Isingoma also had some participants very well in, in Western Uganda with interesting stories that are the work that is moving on. We want to thank God. To our participants, we want to thank you for attending. I don't know if we still have any questions. Uh, um, Sister Grace, do you see any questions in the chat room, any comments before we close? Because we don't want anyone to go with, uh, uh, with unanswered questions or clarity. Uh, we, we need Mama. Hello. Yes. Mama. Yes. Please. Yes. Alright. So we really like the program, and my member is like you know, of them had already filled the forms. Then he had signed the name. The following past two is them are open and in them soon. As soon as the means of transport are still there, uh, and uh, it's my humble feel that. When we reach lockdown, you give us a consideration. That is the most <laughs> Yes, yes, sure. Midwestern Uganda, that is our leader from Midwestern Uganda. Thank you, Elder Amanyire. True, we were supposed to go and also launch in Midwestern Uganda, but their timing is now locked up for what we had planned. But we want to thank God for the ongoing activities. We did not, we have many that are going on in Central Uganda Conference, but because the union is very wide, we wanted to begin with the far entities first. Pastor Makalonga, you may be wondering why the CUC are not speaking, but they are doing a lot here. So I wanted to begin with the far entities so that we see uh, since many of our entities far besides Central Uganda Conference are unreached. We want to thank God for the OEM. So to, the, to those who are here, please, we will be sharing more so that you can get more details about one more in mission. We have shared a lot. 
We need more participants and we'll be letting you know how we can go on. Uh, we pray that, that, we, uh, that, 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 that the situation normalizes so that we can embark on our duties. The youth are alive, please. We will plan and we will, we will be working hand in hand with our leader to ensure that we, we have our directors, uh, some representatives here join and learn how practical it is for the youth alive. But we encourage you to visit the website, to like the resources there, the activities that are done there. I know you could be doing some of these activities, but we want to intensify the youth alive activities, especially saying no to drugs. Many of our youth are having friends who are struggling with drug addiction. And this could be one of the ministry would be doing, reaching out to youth who are addicted. They are those suffering from pornography. Now we are back to, 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 to lockdown. Oh my goodness, what will they be doing? And, and we cannot rule it out that our Adventist youth are not affected. They are affected and many of them are involved in these issues. That is why, Pastor, we are so much interested in this Youth Alive program. If you talk about, for example, now the, the, the sexual behaviors among the youth, oh my goodness. There is a lot. Youth leaders who are here want to, uh, we embrace and take up the Youth Alive program. And when the situation normalizes, Pastor will be able to join that Youth Alive program. And we will work hand in hand to see that our Uganda Union youth leaders are on board. Friends want to appreciate you for being active and participating today. We still have our youth programs running on. Our senior youth leadership graduation, the first of its kind will be on virtually. We began in a virtual way and we will finish virtual way. True, we have missed seeing each other physically on, on, on the planned date of Sabbath, but we will see each other virtually. You will enjoy, I believe, by God's grace, via Zoom, via Facebook, via our YouTube channels. We encourage you to share, to share so that many of our people will be attending to our functions and seeing what is happening. So I want to thank God for your active participation. And we are waiting for you again as we finalize our youth programs with our leader, Pastor Makalonge, on Sabbath, 12th June. And our programs will begin as early as 8, so that by midday we are done. And then we can follow the other programs. So we are setting it out uh, and finalizing the, the plans, and we'll be posting them very soon on all our groups and through our directors. Want to thank our directors in a special way for the coming program succeed. Since yesterday for music and today and also the coming programs. May God bless you. Back to you, Grace. Or if Pastor Makalonge has any comment to say before we close, yeah, you're great, welcome, great. Pastor. Thank you, Mama Waiswa. Thank you so much. Uh, this, uh, uh, you, uh, you have given very important uh, uh, points for showing the way on where we are expected to go as a union, and that's very encouraging. Uh, some, someone uh, asked if um, the materials are downloadable on the Youth Alive. Oh yes, actually, the youth are live, if you can allow me briefly to, to show the screen, you, you, can, you can see this is the Youth Alive website, but uh, the home of it is the Youth Ministries official uh, website. So um, even if you forget about the Youth Alive, you just go to GC Youth Ministries dot org and then you leave about us ministries and you come to initiatives 
in initiatives, you have a thousand project, ICO, Mission Caleb, one year in Mission Youth Alive. They are all here. And everything in this website, it is yours for free. It is your website and you can, you can learn many, many things here. But Mama Waiso, I really wanted to quickly comment very quickly on some few things uh, which um, I think it's important to remind ourselves. I will just mention quickly. One is about self-guarding our children. <clears throat> self-guarding our children, we have that policy in the church manual, page 174, 175, and it has five important policies there open door policy, don't be with a pathfinder, don't be with an adventurer alone in the room, uh, locked yourselves. Even if you are a male teacher with a male adventurer, that is a big no. Even if you have the same danger, uh, the same gender. Um, so please don't do that. And another policy is two and that's policy must be two when you deal with children and another one is about screening screening those who are working with our children you should not allow anyone to work with our children and another policy is six month policy volunteers or people who are new to the church should not be left alone to teach our adventurer or pathfinders uh, even our ambassadors, but you know, those ones, the little ones are more vulnerable and more seminars like this. So you take note of seminars like this to be taught how to deal uh, with them. So safeguarding children, Mama Waiswa, is very key policy. And we are pleading with all our youth leaders, take it seriously, it is in the church manual, uh, page 174, 75, you'll find it there. But number two, um, uh, there are things which are coming on the social media and they have not passed through the union and the uh, conference and some of our youth leaders, they pick them. So be careful. We have our protocol of introducing new things. And so we, 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 uh, lately there was an adventurous song that was running viral and uh, there are people who picked it thinking we have changed the adventure song. Now, um, the song which they were spreading, it is also adventure song, but not for ECD. So the, the almost the all part of the world, they are using the normal song. We are adventurers at home, at school, at play, with the exception of South America division and other few divisions which are using the other version. So please, please, please don't, don't take anything before you hear from Mama Waiswa, before you hear from your field directors. We are here for that. We cannot allow any new item to come to the territory without agreeing. And there are some things which are, are official, but they are not for us. They are official, but they are not for us. For instance, Youth Commitment Day. Do you know there is another Youth Commitment Day in the month of April? But that's not ours. So if you just go to the website, to the calendar and say, oh, April is a Youth Commitment Day. Let us do Youth Commitment in April. You have already done something uh, which it is not for you. It is for other divisions. So. When you get anything, please try to clear with your union and field leaders. Now there's adventure, a new curriculum. Again, people have taken it and I've seen some have even printed it. And it is official, it is in our website, but um, we normally adopt and adapt. And we, we are not going to make uh, uh, any change that will affect you, but always, I would encourage you to wait, to wait for the information to, to flow. Uh, it normally starts at GC. We already voted the curriculum. 
We are also meeting in a few days to come as the division with all union directors. And we'll also give direction on how we are going to relate with the new adventurers curriculum. So be very uh, careful for that. Last and uh, not least uh, is virtual events like this. Sometimes you can have a virtual seminar for your local church. So we still encourage you to ally us with um, um, your leaders. With if you field, let the field director know, let the union director know. Yeah, I I saw somewhere uh, one local church invited a youth director from Australia, and uh, the union is not aware, the field is not aware, and. Uh, they say this is virtual, so virtual, virtual is okay. So virtual, you don't need service request. No, even in virtual uh, uh, events, we need the service request. It may not be detailed like the uh, one we were doing for physical because it involved insurance and other things, but this one does not involve insurance, but let the leaders know, let the field director know let the uh, union director know. And if it's someone from outside our division, they will always let me know. So that's, that's what I wanted to comment to Mama Waistua. Uh, otherwise, I, I, okay, I wanted to forget. I, I, Mama Waistua, we have a very special, I, we, we will uh, work with you to see how we can appreciate those who got uh, um, uh, special points in the exercise. I don't know, Masi, 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 Nakayiza, Madina, Kabirige, I think he's using Masi, Masi, or from which church? If Masi is still around, I don't know if he's, I hope she has not gone. Nakayiza, is using Nakayiza something. Mercy. Uh, well, we will look for Mercy, and we Mercy. They got uh, the lowest points, and we will uh, appreciate them for recognizing. And I have some uh, special gift for, uh, but I don't know how we are going to get Mercy. It's 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 opposite today. We are not giving those who have very big points because those are already strong. So we'll give those who are having very low points because those are the ones who need a bit of support. And those who have much point, we congratulate you. Keep growing. All points were 30. So whatever you got, you got out of 30. And those that who was 26, ah, is he supposed even to give the gift? You who got 26 will come to you so that you can give the gift to those who are getting 10 and 14 to encourage them. God bless you so much. But we have taken note of those also, and we will uh, make a statement for all of those who have uh, higher points as well. Thank you, Mama Wise. Thank you, thank you so much, Pastor. And uh, for all that insight and want to thank God that Every time we keep learning and we keep on um, adding more information in how to run effectively in our youth communities. Thank you, Pastor, for all those insights. And um, I, am, I am at least sure with my many of our Ugandans, many of our leaders, at least they are now very cooperative in, in holding and, 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 and in making sure that they follow what we tell them. Surely we, they, they are doing their best and we are doing our best by God's grace. Want to appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for coming and for joining. In a special, we will ask Pastor Mwakalonge to pray for us. As Thank you. Our program. Thank you, Mama Aiswa. Shall we pray? Our friend Jesus, we thank you so much 
for the hope we have of salvation in you. Thank you for the youth ministries and thank you for all that you have taught us and reminded us today. Help us to grow in grace, help Uganda Union to continue shining under the leadership of uh, your daughter, Mrs. Esther Waiswa. Together with the able field directors who are working very close to her as a team. And thank you, Lord, for all districts, areas, zones, leaders, and local church youth uh, leaders, elders, pastors, who are uniting their efforts to prepare young people for your soon return. Please, Lord, when you come again, let there be many young people from Uganda who will receive you in the air. May our efforts bear fruits. May our trials uh, touching different buttons to make things work not go in vain. You are able, Lord, to do this. And our aim and our desire is to overcome and live with you forever and ever. Thank you and give us good evening. Bless this great country of Uganda. Bless its leadership. And Lord, may your presence be in it now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, friends. God bless you. We will meet again on Sabbath. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you too, Mama. See you. Amen. Man. Bless you. Thank you for attending. Thank you for attending. Thank you. Amen. Thanks for attending. Thank you for attending too. Amen, amen, and amen. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye to everybody.